What's up everyone, I'm Carl Johnson and in this video I'm going to show you how to balance a page out that is using two or more columns and how to optimize it on mobile. Right, so here's our page that I've mocked up. We've got a locations, fictional locations page for the company. You'll see straight away we've got images that are different sizes. We've got buttons that should line up and they're not lining up. Lines that are not lining up and it just generally doesn't look very tidy it's a bit of a messy page so the reason for this is the fact that we're using different size images at the start and then we've got some text blocks have got more copy in them than others um, so that starts forcing the rest of the page out of alignment so what I'm going to show you is how to keep it aligned when the screen gets resized as well because we want to make sure that when the screen when it's displayed on different screens that everything stays all nice and aligned up um, and I'm waffling on a bit, so let's get started. So I could show you how to fix this page, but what I'm gonna do is just show you how to create it from the start. So I'll just um I'll just replicate it. So if we go to create a new page. Okay, so first off, we've already got a text block on the page, so we're just gonna name this our locations like on the other page. And then we're gonna make this head and one text and we'll align it to the center. And next off, purely to separate the content from the, the page title, I'm just gonna add a line in. And then next I'm gonna put our subtitles in, so we'll go. United Kingdom and then we'll, I think we have Malaysia next. Okay, next we need to sit these next to each other. So if we just drag this, we've got to watch the lines here. We want to stick it to the edge of this other text block. So we don't want to put it over there because that'll push everything over to the left. We just want to literally come down and make sure we watch this black line go to the edge of the text block, like so. Okay, let's make that a bit bigger. So we'll go with head and two on this one and then the same. Okay, next to add our image block. So once again, click on the insert point and we'll put a image. And then the same for our second picture. So we just upload the images now. And then our London one. So you see we've got two images that are different sizes. Now this is literally because I've took them from Unsplash where I've downloaded them from and not done anything to them and then uploaded them to Squarespace. Um, now I always prefer to edit the photos in Photoshop first so I'll stick them on a at maybe like a 650 by 400 canvas or something like that and then crop them in Photoshop. That way you know that when you upload them they're all going to be exactly the same size. But if you haven't got access to Photoshop, then we can do this in Squarespace. It's just, you might not be able to get them exactly right, but you can give it a go. So if we just click on this image of London, we'll make this one a little bit smaller. So we'll just grab this handle and drag it up to get it as close as we can to this other image next to it. So I think, I think that's pretty much it. Pretty much the same size. So next, I'm going to put a text block in. Just paste a bit of placeholder text in there. And then I'm going to do the same for our next image. And then I'm going to go mad on this one. I'm going to put a second line in underneath. So that's just come across here now. So if we were to add buttons now, so underneath of these images, what we get is, let's just show you what I mean. See straight off that this isn't going to align up once we've put this second button in. So you see that that button, because we've got more text in this block, that button on this side is a lot lower than this one. So what I'm going to do is, 
just remove these for a second. I'm going to put a full length space block in. And then I'm going to drag that down to its minimum height. And then I'm going to add the buttons underneath. And I'm going to just drag these next to each other. So you see now that when we resize this page, the buttons are stay aligned, no matter what this text do and how many lines this text is covering. So just drag this back out. Now it's a little freebie for you as well. <laughs> so you might think, well, these buttons are too far away now from the text because that space block that we put in, we've dragged it down to its minimum height, but the buttons are still far too far away from the text. So if we go to the Squarespace block identifier, I'll leave a link in the description for this. It's a Chrome extension. If we just click on that, you see we've got the text blocks here. This is the ID of the text blocks. This is the ID of the buttons. And this is the ID of the um, of the spacer block that we put in. So if we just click on that, that's copied to the clipboard now. So if we just close that down because we don't need to use it, and we'll come over to Design, Custom CSS, and we'll paste the block ID in. And then we go squiggly bracket and padding colon 1px and save. You see now that these buttons have closed up to the text. So basically what we need to do now is just replicate this underneath. So if we go to, let's put another space in. Drag that down to a minimum height. Okay, so we can reduce the pattern of this space block to as we did the one above to make the um, the text and the buttons closer together. So if we just save that and we'll grab the ID again of this space block, close that back to custom CSS. Now instead of writing all this out again, I know it's not a big piece of CSS, but to save typing it all up, we'll just put a comma and paste the block ID in and then save. Okay, so there we go, the page is looking a lot neater now. We've got same size images, all the buttons line up properly. We've got just a little bit of separation between the title and the, the main content. But the problem now is that if we go to mobile view, you see it's all it's all nice and neat. Um, we come down, but it's actually put the buttons on top of each other. This is because we put a, a space block between, between the buttons and the rest of the images. So Squarespace is presuming that that's a place to break on mobile into a new section. So so it's easily fixed. What we're gonna do, we'll go back to the desktop view and then we'll we're gonna create some buttons that we're gonna hide on the desktop and then we'll hide the desktop buttons on a mobile. So if we go back to desktop view, click to edit the page. So if we insert just underneath this text block, if we insert a button and I'm gonna leave it centered the desktop and then we'll do the same with all the rest of them as well so if we just come across to this text block okay so there we go all the buttons are in now we're just going to hit save it's looking a mess at the moment, isn't it? But we're gonna fix all this now using some CSS. So the first thing we need to do is go to the style editor. We're gonna look for our mobile breakpoint. There we go, we've got mobile breakpoint, 660 PX. So if we just take a note of that, custom CSS, and then we're gonna come down. And the first thing we're gonna do is hide these buttons, these mobile buttons to tidy the desktop site back up. So. What we need to do is go with at media only screen and 
normal bracket, and then we're going to want to go with min dash width colon 660px. And then we'll come outside of this normal bracket, just leave a space, and then we're going to put a left squiggly bracket come down so we've got a bit of space. And then we're going to go to our Squarespace block identifier again. We're going to get the IDs of these buttons that are going to be displayed only on mobile. So if we just click on the first one, paste in there, comma, grab this next one, paste that one in, and then get these two as well. So, comma, paste, comma, and then get this last one. Now we want to put another left squiggly bracket, come down again, and we want to put display, colon, none. And there you go, you'll see that that's hidden the mod buttons now for mobile, so if we just turn this off a sec, we'll save that. We go to mobile view, and you see that the button's in the right place now. We just need to hide these desktop buttons on the mobile, so basically what I'm going to do to speed this process up is to just copy this bit of CSS I'm going to come down paste it again and then I'm just going to remove these block IDs so if we go from the this one right the way through to the hashtag block and then I'm going to change this min width to max and then let's just go make a bit of space need to get these IDs now of these buttons. So if we just, same again, block identifier, and then just before this second squiggly bracket, we're just gonna paste that in. And then the same again, just copy them all, paste the rest of them. And then we'll go to save, Let's switch this block identifier back off, and we'll go to the mobile view. And there you go. Our mobile buttons are showing up, our desktop buttons are hidden, and then when we go to the desktop, the desktop buttons are there, and the mobile buttons are hidden. So, there we go. That's how you balance a page out. Um, hope you found some of the tips in this video useful, if you did please leave a like below. Um, if you'd like to see more Squarespace tutorials, please do subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.